Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn. And I'm Grace Melhorn. And come along with us today as we go summer scouting before deer season. What are you doing? Getting the trailer out. And for back or down? What we're doing is checking out some of our uh, property here. Uh, we hadn't been in here all summer. Just seeing what's new. It's all timber company land, which means we lease it. Somebody else owns it. We lease the hunting rights. So uh, stuff happens uh, in the off season. Namely being, they cut trees down. So uh, you gotta kinda get in here and look around and see what's going on. We're also gonna take a look at the food plots. Uh, to see what state they're in. We've got a great team of guys that manage these food plots for us and I'm just kind of seeing what's going on. Good gracious. Well, I get some wasp spray and spray it and dry. We need to. You may want to pull forward though to hang on. Just put it in drive in case they get agitated. Holy cow. Yeah, is there any wasp spray in here? No, we don't have any. Dang it. That is a lot. That, look at that thing flew right. That's a lot of wasp in there. Big old wasp wasp nest. Uh, we have to keep an eye on our steer stands to uh, make sure that these things aren't in them. We don't get them that big. That one is huge. That's a big and big and wow. That's an old, uh, looks like a seed spreader or something. Hard to tell a size relation, and I'm not going in to show you, but that's about as big as a basketball. That'd be scary to walk into a stand with that right over your head. Can you imagine walking into that in the middle of the night and all right, right before daylight. That's crazy. That would be fun to light them up with the wasp spray that shoots like 20 feet. All right, let's pull on out of here. They're starting to move. Yep, let's go. Later. Come over here and look. How about I just kick it and run? I mean, that's an idea. I mean, I could kick it and roll down the cliff and get bit by a rattler. There's got to be a wasp nest in that. It's got to be. Ready? Uh, hang on. I don't see any yet. What? 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 Do you see one? Do you see any? I don't think there's any up in that corner. Of it. Look back in the corner, it's usually where they're at. They may have sprayed this already, I don't know. That one looks good. So anyway, this is part of uh, the reason we're out here is uh, checking out some of these box blinds that we got. Uh, they're bad to get wasp nests in them. And uh, there's nothing worse than get out here before daylight getting up in there. Because wasp yellow jackets don't like to fly when it's dark. So you get up in there and you sit down and all of a sudden the sun comes up and you look up and there's a wasp, wasp, nest, wasp nest above your head or the worst part is there is a wasp nest behind you right next to the door that you got to get out of. So it's good to figure this stuff out before deer season comes in. So it's all part of our little journey here today. All right, guys, behind me is one of our food plots uh, that our team has come in, and they have disc up. Uh, the way our system works is we come in in the summertime. 
uh, kind of late summer uh, and spray them to kill everything in them. Come in, mow everything down, knock everything down, help just uh, with the disking. And they come in and disk it and plow it, turn it up, and then we'll come in with fertilizer and lime if needed. We do some soil tests to see where our lime stands. Most of them we've got pretty much in check now after many years of doing this. But uh, we'll come in, put the lime in, and come in, rake it flat, spread the seed, drill the seed, and uh, we'll be good to go. All right, folks, this right here is our chufa plots. Uh, this is the stuff we plant for turkey. This will be brown by turkey season, but you can see it came up real good this spring. Good looking stuff. Yeah, we got a whole team of people here in our hunt club uh, that work on the food plots. And uh, we got one guy who's like the food plot master. He is the one that uh, uh, is in charge of putting all this together, what goes where, uh, when we plant and all that kind of stuff. Then we got another guy who is the tractor master. Uh, and he lives down here and uh, uses our club tractor to do most of the tractor work. So without those two guys, uh, we'd have to do a lot more work. We're really happy we got them. Uh, but it's a uh, rare combination of people and talent and uh, skill that make all this stuff happen. And that right behind you is as good as it gets. Well, guys, give you a little tip on uh, summer scouting. Uh, all you experienced deer hunters, y'all know this. This stuff is for uh, the new folks and people trying to learn new to the uh, sport of chasing deer. Uh, summer is actually probably one of the worst times to do any scouting, to be perfectly honest. Uh, it's at the end of a seasonal phase for deer. Uh, what they do in the summer, what their patterns are in the summer, are not going to be what they're going to be in the fall. Now that's outside of some places like in the low country of South Carolina where you've got an August 15th start date. Uh, pretty much the rest of the country, what you're seeing in the summertime is going to be totally different uh, come fall. The good news is it's a good time to get out and kind of take inventory of what's going on on your property. Uh, it's a good time to look at tracks, um, look around, you know, if it's wet, if you're getting any rain in the summer, uh, good time to check out tracks, kind of get a little count on what kind of deer you got. Uh, occasionally you'll stumble across some areas where there's some good tracks, maybe from some bucks, so it gives you a little bit of optimism. But as far as figuring out what deer are doing, as far as patterning what deer are doing, uh, it, it's, it's a bad time for that. Summer is not the time to be doing that. Uh, that's something you need to be doing uh, later on into fall. Uh, late, late summer uh, is when stuff starts to shift uh, into early fall. That's when you start to see the deer shifting into patterns that they're going to be doing for or going to be in for the next several months into when your season comes in. Uh, a lot of it depends on when your season comes in. Uh, some parts of the country come in around September. Uh, that's the way we are in the southeast where I'm at in the Carolinas. Pretty much every hunting season, at least both season, is in by September uh, 15th. Um, now, that's, uh, you know, that gives you the ability to go hunt. That's actually a time we use to scout more than anything. Uh, deer are not rutting by then. There's a little bit of pre-rut activity. You'll start to see some rubs showing up. Uh, you'll start to see a scrape here and there. Um, Usually it's about the 1st of October is when you start seeing the community scrapes, the big scrapes showing up. So uh, obviously that's a long time from now in August uh, to that point. So again, it's a good time to get out, take inventory, make sure your stands are still there, cut some trees down. But as far as actually finding and patterning deer, it's not a real good time to do it. So uh, I know it's tough because you start getting excited, you start looking forward to deer season, start thinking about it, start watching some shows and... Uh, you want to get out there, but just remember what you're seeing right now is not what you're going to be hunting uh, come September, October, and November. There's another club stand. Little box stand shooting about 300 yards down this road. All right, guys, one more thing to consider. Uh, when you're out here in the summertime. One, uh, unless you're in a special part of the country, it gets hot. Uh, so bring you some water. There is nothing worse than parting the bumpy roads than getting out here in the middle of the woods and uh, having a heat stroke uh, or just getting some really bad fatigue. So make sure you got plenty of water with you. The other thing is uh, look out for snakes. Pretty much anywhere uh, in the country, 
that you're going to be deer hunting there's some kind of snake uh, here where we're at it's mostly copperheads on our properties but you go 10 miles down the road and all of a sudden you're into timber rattlers and uh, yeah they're not exactly fun to encounter so uh, just a little word of warning for any of you new folks out there snakes are out not a, you're not going to see as many of them during the middle of the day uh, as you will in the early or especially the evening hours, but they're around. You go stomp around through the woods and through the brush, you'll run across some sooner or later. Oh, one more thing. Uh, as you saw in the video, we encountered some flying creatures, some insects that sting. Uh, look out for yellow jackets. Uh, what we saw were wasps. Uh, but look out for yellow jackets. They, uh, this is about the time of the year they really start burrowing up in the ground. And uh, they build nests in the ground. And when you aggravate one of them, whether you're on a four wheeler or walking or stomping around, uh, they'll swarm you. And what's amazing is how quiet they are when they decide to attack you. Uh, it's not like a big buzzing bee noise like you would see in a movie with bees flying everywhere. It's all of a sudden you're stung and they're all over you. So yeah, look out for those two. I'm not trying to freak you out. Any of you new folks, uh, I'm not trying to freak you out to scare you staying out of the woods, but it's just stuff you need to be conscious of when you're out in the woods in the summertime because uh, everything's live right now. Uh, it's warm. Everything's thriving and uh, actually everything is mating. This is when a lot of the bees start doing their stuff for the winter and uh, it's when stakes start moving around and mating and that's why there's just a lot of of stuff to look out for. So, a little nice. But anyway, great time to get out. If you got the time, go take inventory of your land, what's going on, and uh, enjoy your time in the great outdoors. If you like this video, please consider subscribing, smash the thumbs up, and we look forward to seeing you in the woods and on the water.